Good morning, it's Friday, September 15, 2017. In breaking news, today marks the end of Lyle Russell's employment at Newslink. It has been a short 50 weeks since the New Zealand native began at the content production company, and throughout that time he has visited 19 states, churned out 23 complete newsletters, contributed to his colleagues' publications, and snapped photos along the way. When he landed in San Francisco on September 13 last year, Lyle didn't have a job. As he searched the new listings on Indeed, he came across a position at Newslink and applied. Before the day was out, he received an email from Newslink Vice President Dave Zaunio wanting to set up an interview. Still jet-lagged, Lyle pinned his eyes open for a Skype interview the next day. A few days passed and it was on Sunday, September 18, when Lyle was out in the Lower Bay area that he got the call with the job offer. He had to make his way to Lincoln, Nebraska, a city that wasn't featured on his list of places to visit to begin his US adventure. While he may have started at Newslink on October 3rd, the last 50 weeks would not have been possible without being surrounded by a great team. Let's cross to Lyle Russell for the remaining of the report. Oh, hi, I'm Lyle Russell. You may remember me from such things as my book, Trouble in Sydney. Or when I boasted about Emirates Team New Zealand winning the America's Cup. Well, today, I'm here to thank you as I close this chapter of my life to begin the next. I want to thank Dave for giving me the chance to work here, for boosting my confidence as I made my first round of phone calls while he sat next to me, and being open to all of my ideas. To Pete, for being an open-minded boss, for quizzing me about everything when I first walked into his office a year ago, and giving me the time off I needed to return home for my sister's wedding. Jacqueline, for setting me up with what to expect while in the field. Although your task is with us newbies and getting us ready to do our work, your job never came to an end. Throughout the entire year when we had questions, you were always there to help out. Matt, it didn't seem to matter when I needed something editing. Matt would seem to drop everything to turn my work around. Even when I was in El Paso one Saturday morning and sent him a health article that needed turning around, within half an hour, probably less, he had that article back to me. To Tad, for being generous with my accounts. Even when I knew what I wanted and came up with plans of how to get accounts finished on time, Tad would listen and work with my ideas, so I was able to revisit accounts that I became attached to. John, that chappie who sat across the wall for me for the best part of the year, thanks for being a source of knowledge, someone to bounce ideas off as we flesh out our challenges. To my other neighbour Josh, who escaped earlier than he was meant to, we always helped out each other throughout the year, and it was appreciated. To the other corporate journalists, while we're out in the field alone, this is a team sport, and as our shared knowledge and friendship would have helped me get my job done throughout the last year. Although she can't possibly get any further away from me, Sarah, you've been a go-to person for information. When I've been out in the field and at a loss, I can always rely on you to get me the contact information I needed to set me back on track. To everyone else, thank you for doing what you do. Whether you've turned my work around or been someone to chat to, you've made my year. Well that's it from me, Lyle out.